Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how automotive engine oil filters work and we're even going to cut this one apart and see what components are inside. Alright, so first of all, what does one of these filters do? And just like it sounds, an oil filter filters the engine oil in your car's engine. The oil enters in through these outside holes here and then comes out through the center hole that you see. So what are the components of an oil filter? The first one I wanted to talk about briefly is the seal, um, and that's just this rubber seal that is on the outside of the oil filter. And what that does is it creates a good seal between the mounting surface on your engine and the oil filter, so there's no leaks. Next we have the top cover. I've also heard this sometimes referred to as a tapping plate, and that's just this metal piece you see right here. And what that does, that's a sort of the entry and exit point for your oil. Uh, the oil enters on the outside holes here and then comes back out once it's been filtered through that large hole in the center. Now if you notice on this filter here, you can see something red there, and that's what's referred to as an anti-drain back valve. And what that does is it keeps oil from draining back out of the filter um, between the engine startups, so when you start it up the next time, you don't have any oil starvation problems for your engine, which can lead to more wear and tear. All right, so there's two other components that I wanted to talk about, and that's the filter media and the pressure relief valve, but we can't see either of those from out here. So what we're going to go ahead and do now is cut this filter open and see what's inside. All right, so now that we have it apart, we can get a closer look at a couple of the parts inside. Uh, there's another look at that anti-drain back valve I was talking about earlier. And so what happens here whenever the engine's running, that's pushed down, the oil flows out around the outside, and then in through the filter element, and then back out the center like I mentioned earlier. Another component that I didn't mention earlier was this retainer plate that goes at the very bottom of the canister. And what that does, that sort of acts like a spring, um, and the filter element sits down on top of that, and it keeps that tight up against the top cover. And the last component is the pressure relief valve. Uh, if you look down inside here, you can kind of see the top of it right there. Um, right here is the hole in the bottom where that, that mates up to the bottom of the filter element. And what that does is that if your filter element would somehow become clogged, um, the pressure will be enough here to push this open and then allow oil to flow, sort of bypass around the filter element and flow straight out back through the engine. So that ensures if your filter gets clogged, you wouldn't starve the engine of oil completely and end up blowing up your engine. With that said, I really hope that would never happen. I mean, you really should be changing your oil and filter often enough where the filter element shouldn't become so clogged that the pressure relief valve would have to operate. And of course, the last component that I didn't mention was the uh, canister itself. Um, you'd be surprised how thin that metal actually is. It's really not much thicker than a soda can. Anyways, that's what one of these filters looks like inside. Hope the video was enjoyable. Um, I had a lot of fun cutting this apart to check it out inside. Um, it's a super important part of your engine. It's as small and as cheap as it might be. Um, it's a pretty important part to keep your engine running a long time. All right, everybody, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.